Time is running out to register your neighborhood party for Night to You Night, which takes place on Tuesday, August 1st. Each year, more than 100 neighborhood parties take place across the city. Members of the police and fire departments make the rounds and visit as many parties as possible. It's a great opportunity to meet officers and your neighbors in a fun, relaxed atmosphere. The deadline to register your party is Monday, July 24th. Registered parties can request visits from the police and fire departments. You also receive t-shirts for party organizers and a goodie bag with fun items for your party. For more information, log on to coonrapidsmn.gov slash night to unite. On a warm summer day, the natural beauty of our city parks in Coon Rapids is on display. Add the fact it's also National Park and Recreation Month, which makes it a great time to embrace this year's theme, where community grows. We decided this year to jump in uh, to that campaign and celebrate our parks and recreation here in Coon Rapids by highlighting many of the activities we already had going on in the city. With more than 40 miles of trails to explore and 50 parks across the city, there's something for everyone. And best of all, it's free. Take Rec on the Spot, the mobile recreation program which invites kids age 5 to 14 to do fun activities. And on July 27th, they'll have a special water day at Riverview Park. We're planning to have the fire department out and add some extra activities on that day at the Rec on the Spot afternoon program. Getting those high knee sprinters, guys. We got 2.15 left. You can give Burn Boot Camp a try at Lions Coon Creek Park. Owner Amanda Brower will lead you on a free 45-minute full-body workout on Saturday, July 29th at 9 a.m. And the Coon Rapids Moms on the Run will have a free trial class for moms of all fitness levels on Wednesday, July 26th at 6.30 p.m. at Bunker Hills Regional Park. And if you want to cool down from the heat, come inside the Coon Rapids Ice Center for a free public skate event on Friday, July 21st from 12.30 to 2.30 p.m. You can rent skates, so they're available for rental. There's also a concession stand there, so we're just inviting the public out on that Friday to cool off and enjoy a free skate. For details on these events and more, log on to the city's website at coonrabbitsmn.gov forward slash park and rec month. On an even playing field, cops in t-shirts play a pickup game of touch football with teenagers. I think that we ultimately want these kids to see us as the human beings that we are. Catch it. <laughs> it's part of a mentorship program the Coon Rapids Police Department launched this past spring with Coon Rapids High School called Cops and Cardinals. It's a way for officers to identify students who could use support and reach out to them on a personal level, says organizer Greg Nordby. The core goal of this program is to identify those students and try to change their life around and give them positive role models to try to intervene and make sure that they have a good performance in life. The group does one activity a month, which includes sharing a meal together. It's a much different view of cops for many, like DeMont Jones. I've been in, in an encounter where a police have been disrespect, disrespectful, cursing at me or telling me like disrespectful things and it really just tarnished the way I looked at them. But then I joined this program and ever since I've always looked at cops in better ways now. We had our first meeting up at the police station. The program offers one-on-one -on -one mentoring, which has opened doors for senior Aloysius Nippon. I liked it because it really builds a like community bond with the police officers and the kids. This fall, the Coon Rapids Police Department plans to expand the program for both male and female students at Coon Rapids High School. It's open to any young person that wants to come in. If you would like to find out more about the Cops and Cardinals Mentorship Program, send an email to Sergeant Greg Nordby at gnordby at coonrapidsmn.gov.
Here's a quick recap of the Wednesday, July 5th City Council meeting. The council introduced an ordinance that will do away with home occupation permits. City staff say Coon Rapids is one of the few cities in the region that still requires a permit and public hearing for home occupations. It's believed that many residents are already operating them, but are unaware a permit is needed. City staff say they receive few complaints related to home occupations. The city council will consider adoption of the ordinance at its July 18th meeting. Planning continues for a pedestrian bridge over Coon Rapids Boulevard in the Port Riverwalk area. On Wednesday night, the City Council approved a design services proposal from Kimley Horn for just over $349,000. The city has secured almost $6 million in state and federal funding for the project. Construction could start as soon as next year. And that's a quick recap of the July 5th City Council meeting. As always, you can find the full meetings on cable or the CTN Coon Rapids YouTube channel. We've been told by many people that come in the door that there's nothing quite like it um, around. There's a new place in town that is taking self-care and beauty to a whole new level. Chapter Aesthetic Studio, which offers evidence-based, non-surgical and cosmetic treatments, opened its doors in mid-February in Riverdale. We've been very pleased with how busy we've been from the beginning. Um, Coon Rapids has really embraced us and we've had really great feedback, but we're excited to keep um, meeting more new people. The studio offers a wide range of services, including Botox, fillers, and laser treatments. The business also has special machines that provide cool sculpting services. We are passionate about delivering good results, and people are very happy with um, what they see after their treatments. Typical clients range in age from their 30s to 60s, and yes, men are also welcome to check out their products, services, and even get a free consultation. There's no pressure to book an appointment that same day or purchase anything. Just come in and learn about us and ask questions. I've always had an interest in writing. In his debut children's book, The Mega Van, Author Mark Theron of Coon Rapids takes us on a journey with a young family as told through the eyes of their minivan. It was born out of a little bit of a dad joke. Mark recalls one day being out in his garage when the thought occurred to him just how much his 2011 Honda actually does for the family. It's been there through it all for us. It's not really so much a minivan, it's more of a mega van. He wrote the story last year. It took just a month. It parallels Theron's own family adventures, which include the birth of fraternal twins Ryan and Reese, now age five, along with big brother Cal, age eight. We read it a lot. What does a do-it-aller do exactly? Wow, what don't I do? I would do anything for this family. Any job, any task, any request. I'm up for it. That's why I'm not just some puny minivan. I'm a... Mega van! <gasps> the book was published back in March, and features illustrations by Kevin Cannon. Our kids are pictured in this book and they like seeing themselves and how uh, Kevin drew them. This past spring, Theron read his book to students at a number of schools, including Sand Creek Elementary. When I go to schools to read it, it is the best reaction and it just uh, fills me with so much joy because that's why I wrote the book, is for kids to enjoy it and to, to spread a love of reading to all the kids. For anyone who wants to go along for the ride, the Megavan can be checked out at the Anoka County Library or check out Mark's website at marktheron.com. Uh, they arrived to find the playground structure fully involved in fire. The Coon Rapids Police Department is asking for the public's help in finding the person or persons responsible for committing arson at two city parks. The most recent incident happened at Wintercrest Park in the early morning hours of June 15th when the playground went up in flames. In the two days prior to that incident, porta potties were set on fire at both Wintercrest and Woodcrest Parks. Authorities hope a reward of up to $500 will help them crack the case. We really don't have a lot of leads at this point. That's why we're asking for the public's help uh, and offering that reward through the Coon Rapids Crime Prevention Association. Um, so if anybody does know anything, 
about what happened here at the parks, uh, we would welcome that information. Anyone with information is asked to call Detective Doug Barron at 763-767-6559 or email dbarron at coonrapidsmn.gov. Again, a reward of up to $500 is being offered for the arrest and conviction of the person or persons responsible. The playground at Wintercrest Park will eventually be replaced with a new play structure. I am cutting vegetables just for snacks during the day. Coon Rapids resident Kate Anderson got interested in organics recycling six years ago. That's when she went back to college to study sustainability. Now she's on the Coon Rapids Sustainability Commission. There is a lot of organic stuff that goes to the landfill that doesn't need to go to the landfill and it just turns into methane and that is a really, really powerful greenhouse gas. Anderson has regularly taken her organics to the Coon Rapids Recycling Center since the program started. It's easy to use, with collection bins for organic waste placed outside the fence to allow residents access 24-7. So organics recycling is intimidating for some. Coon Rapids Recycling Coordinator Colleen Sinclair advises people to start with something simple. Start with leftovers that the kids don't eat or scraps from what you made for dinner. Um, put that in your bin, um, start with, you know, with the easy things, and then just slowly add to it. Organics make up about one-third of what's thrown away in the waste stream. You'll find an extensive list on the city's website of what can and cannot be recycled. Still, there are gray areas. You can call, you can ask questions. Both city and county, we answer those questions all day long. Located on the fence outside the recycling center, you can grab free three-gallon bag liners to fit your kitchen compost bucket. You can take as many as you need. There's no cost to you. We do have available by the roll of um, 13 gallons, so if you're doing a bigger clean out, um, you can use those bigger bags. An added bonus of the organics program are the free bags of compost while supplies last. So the compost that we're giving away to registered users is actual compost made from the food scraps from our drop site. The organics program has over 600 residents participating now, and the Sustainability Commission would like to increase that by 25 percent. Avocado, one day past its prime, so not really that edible. You should always take the plastic label off because that is not compostable. Kate Anderson encourages others to make the move to recycling organics. We would love to have a lot more people use it. There are two sites in Coon Rapids where you can drop off your organics the Anoka County Bunker Hills Compost Site, and the Coon Rapids Recycling Center, available 24-7. Learn more about the Coon Rapids Organics Recycling Program at coonrapidsmn.gov slash recycling. Want to know the who, what, when, and where of Coon Rapids? Then follow CTN on social media. It's that simple. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, keep up with local news, sports, and events. And the people who make our community such a great place to live. So give us a follow, like, share, or subscribe, and always be the first to know what's up in Coon Rapids. That's CTN, helping you stay connected. Did you know Coon Rapids has a city code regulating the height of your grass? Grass and weeds must be kept under 8 inches high. Thank you for helping our city look its best. For more information on this and other city codes, log on to CoonRapidsMN.gov. As you know, CTN's on YouTube, and we're on in a big way. We have thousands of videos online to help you stay connected to Coon Rapids on any device, at home, or on the go. And it's because of your faithful viewership that we can celebrate 10,000 subscribers to the CTN YouTube page. Thank you for your support as we continue to keep you connected.